Thank you for joining me today on our video devotionals. We're looking at Matthew 5, 14 through 16. Today is Tuesday, May the 8th, 2018. I'm reading the scripture again because I think it's so important to let the word of God penetrate our hearts. Matthew 5, 14 through 16, it says, You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand that it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Have you ever traveled to a city that you had not lived in, maybe a little bit familiar with the city, and desired that there was greater light on some of the streets because it seemed like the streets were dark? A couple of years back, three of us were doing a major motorcycle ride and and it was late at night and we were behind schedule and in fact it was 4 a.m. in the morning we were in Connecticut and we were looking for a home of a family that was allowing us to stay with them that night even though we were considerably late getting to their home we were in a town but it was it was dark and there were hardly any street lights and there are lots of trees and it was difficult to see we passed this house we were staying a number of times we just couldn't make out the address and about the second or third time by this house, we saw on the back side a light on the side of the house. And I knew immediately that was the home that we were to stay in. We needed that light. We needed that light to illuminate for us the right place for us to stay. The world that you and I live in is in darkness right now. Some awful, ugly things accompany the darkness. Sin loneliness, fear, top the list of that ugliness. It is in that setting that Jesus states his followers, the beatitude people, are lights. Purpose of light is to illuminate. You can't hide light in darkness. Light dispels the darkness. In a world filled with darkness, equated with sin in the Bible, God places his people. We are called lights. It's not strange that we're here in a dark planet right now. We're the light. We are set to be light, to illuminate the world. We're actually called the light of the world. We expose darkness for what it is and bring to light the things that are hidden. Imagine with me that someone is stalking your house to invade and rob you of your belongings. Suddenly, light comes on all the way around your house on the outside. What happens to the thief who has come to rob you? He immediately dashes for the shadows. He does not want to be exposed. You see, light illuminates. It brings light to the darkness. Christ is instructing us here to illuminate our world. Do not for any reason cover your light. Do not allow anything in your life that which will dim the light of your life. Jesus is saying, don't cover the light that I've made you to be. I guess I'd like to say it like this today, because as you're thinking through what the word of God is speaking to you, there's no such thing as secret discipleship. Either the secrecy destroys the discipleship or the discipleship destroys the secrecy. Participation in evil and sin and wickedness tends to cover the light. It puts a basket, puts a cover over the light that God's called us to be. Seems like some believers are ashamed that they are light. And, and so what they do is they attempt to fit in. And by fitting in, they conform to the world. They are transformed from the world. They conform to it. And their light goes out. Some... They, they are afraid of persecution, and so they cover their light so they won't be persecuted. Jesus is simply saying to us, come on, followers of me. I've destroyed sin's power over your life. I've removed the darkness from you. Let your light shine. Let it be a light to illuminate the pathways of others. You and I were born again to righteousness. We are made to light up our world. Let's let our light shine. 
Oh, Father, I thank you today that you call us to righteousness. You call us to live as living lights in a world filled with darkness so others might see the glory of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, bless your people today. Bless us as we, we walk in the light as you are in the light. Help us to, to let our light shine as a full beam as we possibly can. But I hope in the work of the Holy Spirit in us. I praise you today for helping us look for places to turn the light on for your glory. Amen. Let your light shine. Have a great day.